Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio. And last time what we were doing is we were making this area up here, which was our new ma massive, absolutely massive, long-term storage. Now, we've got that one made, um, sort of laid out, and I did actually go and make a blueprint to... Uh, well, I altered the blueprint ever so slightly, so that the... Um, the wires that the, the uh, what are they called the um the medium electric poles around the edge were very very precisely placed all the way around so that the it will actually tile we've effectively now got a tiled system that we can just um expand out as much as we need to all the way around and they will slowly start to fill up but i have noticed when i was doing that a strange phenomenon that seems to be going on we've got lines of robots going all over the map um, and they're going to the various different storage areas that I've got and, you know, filling up a load of stuff and then rushing off to the next one because they don't quite fill up completely. And then they move off to the next one and so on and so forth. Um, so I'm sort of thinking that the issue is they're going to a chest that they think is full, finding it's not full, moving to the next one and um, they just sort of keep moving around. So like I've got this little tiny set here. And I've got more of them all over the place. So I'm thinking it would be better that for long-term storage, we have just one area of long-term storage. And then we're not going to have to worry about them doing this. It's, I mean, like there, we've got a huge, great big long line of them. And they are heading now in a straight line over this way. So if we sort of go with them, we can um, hopefully sort of squeeze through here a little bit. And they're going to run over here. And they're all going to the same chest. And then they're going to these chests and they're going away again. So we know, you can see there, we've got deliveries of three, four hundred, six hundred there. And the no deliveries, but these two have got loads of deliveries incoming. But there's nothing there. There's no spaces there. So in order to try and eliminate this a little bit, I think I need to get rid of this patch. I also need to go through and I need to find the other areas of long-term storage. And I need to remove those as well so that I've only got those two big areas now in our map over here we've got one area there and one area there but considering that i would also expand this across here and turn most of this area eventually into a huge long-term storage area i think that'll be okay because eventually the, the train stations we've got those there but i was actually thinking that train stations could sort of take up a big area here as we get further out We've got already got a load of furnaces down here. That can be expanded out to be bigger. The train stations down here, this will all be removed and we'll just have one massive great big station up here that will be unloading everything once we've gotten further out. We don't need to worry about it at the moment because we, we're not far enough out to have to deal with it. Um, but it's, the other thing that I do need to mention is that a lot of what I'm talking about now is going to be kind of what I do with the game and I'm going to be doing like periodic update videos every now and then because I am drastically overhauling my upload schedule very soon. Um, this Factorio series is one of the least popular series that I do now um, with quite with not very many views in each week. So this one will unfortunately have to be retired um, and I will occasionally when I've not got a huge amount of other games to play come back with an update sort of on my progress because I really like playing this game in my downtime as well so um, yeah unfortunately we've got this week I think we've got maybe one or two more episodes and then we're gonna have to say farewell to the series right I can't take anything else I got no more room at the moment so I'm just gonna move away from those my um mouse is um, being weird again there we go if I, if I just move away from those and i just come up to there so that i'm out of range those other robots will then move in and they will deal with it so i'm just going to take 50 of those i'm going to drop them in and i'm going to do that as well and there see i'm just going to do that like that that will then put the coal in uh, are they still my robots are still in range of those chests so i need to move Let's go all the way over here. I should be out of range of those chests. Then I don't need to worry about it. So I can drop in another few lots of coal. And now come the, the robots are coming back into my um, bags as well. That's excellent. That's what we want. Uh, I've only got five of those. So the robo ports, I got loads of extras. That's just from some stuff that I was doing when I was like making the new thing. Um, so we've got that lot there has now been removed. What I'm actually going to do 
is I'm going to, for now, I'm going to remove my robots. I'm going to take them and I'm going to drop them in here. So they will go off and they will help move those chests. I won't have any on me. I will come back and I will load them up again later. But for now, they, they can just sort of work on that bit, um, removing those chests. We've got another couple areas of chests that we need to get rid of as well. And... Essentially, we're gonna, we, we do need to do a bit of tidying up of the base. Um, once we've sort of cleared this lot, we kind of need to do a, a bit of serious tidying up so that um, things are more concise and then we can start really... Now that I've reached a point where we've got, like, big areas for each part of production and each part of production is keeping up, we can then start sort of expanding out and really making the, like, the final layouts for each area of production. However, it's going to be a long process. There's a lot to do. When making an absolutely massive mega base, there is really a lot of different things that you need to take into account when you're doing it. Um, and that's one of the things that we are going to be doing. So I can remove that lot there. They can all go. And I did have some more long-term storage somewhere. Come over here. Where's the rest of it? I got those chests there. There was another four somewhere. I can't remember where they are. It was definitely... There was four of them. There was just four of them in a line. And... Wherever did they go? Oh, here we go. We got... Well, we got a few here. I don't know if it was four. No, it was six. Uh, we need to remove those as well. They gotta go. There you go. Bye-bye chests. And... They'll all empty out. And then did I have any more? I don't think I did. There is another big patch that I will go and get in a minute. Um... This is all filling up. All of the, ex the spare chests in there are filling up. I've still got a line of robots moving across here. And all you've got to do is just follow the line of robots. And then, yeah, you, you sort of know where everything is going. So if I go on here, and then I get that one. And I remove all of that lot there. 100 chests there. Kaboom. Gone. Now suddenly all those robots are disappearing again. They are going to go back and they're going to stay working industriously on the bit that we've already got. So if I look there, i got 4,000 robots. i got 550 construction robots working. But all of these now are coming down into here and they're using these chests that we've got in this area here. And then they will come up and they will start using this area of chests here. And we've got a massive lot of robots. It's the robot ports everywhere that suddenly light up when you do that. A uh, little strip that they're missing there. Um, and I could put another layer of... I'm actually thinking of doing that. If I take this one, this only removes um, trees and rocks. Yeah, I've I set this one to only remove trees and rocks. So if I do that, it will actually remove all the trees and rocks on that area there. It's going to take us a little while to actually get there because the, they're currently busy elsewhere doing um, removing all of these other chests. That's going to take them a little while to empty everything out because what they got to do is they got to empty the chest first there's two and a half thousand items in most of those chests so they've got to empty them out then move them and then come back again uh so what i kind of want to do is just upgrade um not upgrade i want to change my robots that i'm making into uh construction robots for a minute because i got these here i got the flight points there or the, not the flight points the, the flight thingies um they're, they're being made and we got twelve thousand robots i've only got six thousand flying so i don't need that many robots flying and now that i've removed all of those extra bits of robot um or extra bits of um long-term storage i got that one i had one at the top another one down here somewhere by removing all of those, it's now a lot more concise with where the storage area is. And I've got 7,000 robots currently waiting orders. And I was down at 2,000. Now, we are getting a little bit of lag because of the sheer quantity of things that are going on on the map. Um, but that's You do kind of expect that after a while. So let me just have a little look around. There is one little factory that I need to find. I've only got one doing it. And that, oh, there it is. Right there making these and this is the one that is making logistics robots now if i change that see uh change that one and rather than making logistics robots we are going to start making construction robots i would like about 1500 construction robots they require a different recipe they require green circuits so i've got 200 advanced circuits requested on here i'm going to add another request in here for 200 green circuits 
they will come in and we'll get a whole load of those come in all at once and then that's going to start pumping out the um, construction robots really quick there we go look at that that's really starting to hammer them through now that is brilliant absolutely as fast as I can possibly carry anything into these chests here as well uh, so the flying robot frames I'm gonna increase that now to I'm gonna go like yeah let's let's get let's go crazy let's go 300 of them I'm gonna request 300 of those in there and that should because obviously that's now kept that one full which means this one is going absolutely fast. that's brilliant that's absolutely awesome that is properly going absolutely flat out. And so then if you look in here, you can see the number of construction robots on the right-hand side. Right at the bottom, you've got the electricity bar. And then just up one point, you've got the number of construction robots. And see how fast that is climbing. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. That is brilliant. I, abs I genuinely love that. I really do. I'm going to be stopping it in a minute. Once it sort of reaches saturation, we will stop it. And I think that the 12,000 logistics robots is enough for now. Um, although I am thinking that maybe 15,000 would be better. If I was to run that all the way up to 15,000, I think that might work out. But look at this. This is brilliant. That is... I'm genuinely impressed with that. Something else that is going to be really useful for is... Now that I'm increasing the number of construction robots that we've got, so we're already on 1,150. Um... I'm going to lay down a bit more concrete. It's going to do it so much faster. It really is. It's going to be a lot more impressive. I'm just going to leave that to run for a second. And we're going to run over here. And we're going to take a look at these chests. And we're going to see how they're doing. Uh, here we got this one over here. So we've got over 1,200 robots pumped into that system now. Yep, we got almost 1,300. I think I might let it go all the way up to 2,000. It does depend how many um, flying robot frames I got. That's going to be the bit that's going to kind of slow it down. But look at all of these bots coming in. And it's going to move things so much faster now. We, I think there are going to be times when I'm going to be really glad that we got this many robots going on here. Uh, I've got a little gap in the system here. See that little green patch there? So if I just grab one of those and drop it down there, that should take care of that little bit. So we've got... Oh, I got 2.4k in those two chests there. I'm going to change also the chests that on any of the ores that we've got inside the base itself. I want to change those so that they're all passive, uh, they're all active provider chests rather than passive provider chests because I want to start pushing out more and more of the, the resources so that I can clear a bigger area and then I can start laying down more of the base. So we've got 1,600... Pushing up the 1,700 construction robots. Uh, I did say that I was going to go 1,500. I think we'll stop at 2,000. When we get to around about 2,000, then we'll stop. And I can't remember where that thing is. It's not that far over, is it? Uh, is it down here? Oh, there it is. There it is. It's in the swarm. It's difficult to see things inside the swarm here sometimes. And if I look here, I've got... I don't want solid fuel on me. I don't need that. But what I do have carrying around is I've got these 600 because I wanted to make some more um, fuel things. And I don't actually think that I need to worry about that, so I can put the steel plates down. That is still going absolutely insane. That is brilliant. And we are approaching... There we go. We've got 2,000 construction robots. That is absolutely brilliant. So in order to stop it, all I actually do is I just remove that one. And I let them build up in here. I've got three construction robots on me at the moment. I'm going to take a few more of them. And I'm going to get myself 50 of them again. I did have 50. And having 50 is actually a really good number. So I'm going to take that. I've got one single construction robot there. And I've actually put it into the, um, the thingy. What? The, the robo port has gone into there. Uh... Now, I was making more of the, um, oh, what do you call them? Nuclear reactors. I was actually making some more of them, which is why I was sort of saving up all of this. I don't think I need to at the moment. I don't think that is something that we need to worry about. So I'm going to drop those numbers back down to 200, and I'll do the same with the steel bars. Actually, the steel can be 100. And iron plate, I will keep at 400. That, I will keep at 400. No, I'm going to drop that down to 300 because um, I don't want too many stacks of it cutting around. It's gonna t it's, it takes up way too much space when you've got that much of it running around with. 
And, and then concrete as well. That can... I, I can get rid of concrete, actually. I don't need any concrete at all. Uh... Right, so that's everything out of the ch out of me that I, I don't need anymore. I can just remove a little bit of some of these so that I've got... I Basically, I just want to clear a little bit of space so that i got a few extra... i got some space available to do a few other things. Um, I don't need those um, steel furnaces on me. I don't want the stone fur furnaces either. They can all go. And... They're starting to look a little better. i got a little bit more room now. Why have I got 60 of those? Oh, it was to make some locomotives, wasn't it? That was why. And I got those. Right. Now that I've got all this concrete available, let's just take a look here. So I've got 2,041 construction robots busy working, and they are still busy working. Every single one of them is working, which means that the layer of, uh, the, like, the, the group of chests over here, they still haven't emptied them out yet, and I went too close. I forgot. I've just given myself 50 robots, so I need to run over here so that I'm away from them because they are going to dump a whole load of rubbish that I don't want into my bags. So, are they, no, they, they are coming back into my bags now, so I can get rid of that and the uranium ore as well that can go. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Right. I'm not going to worry about those. So, I had two... Two or three different things that I wanted to get done today. First of all, we're just going to check on this one, and... Is it... It's ready. It's ready to launch, and we got the satellite there as well. So we could auto-launch with the cargo. It's actually completely ready to go. The only thing that it doesn't have, though, is... These. Although they are there. They're there. They're there waiting to go. The low-density structures are waiting to go. And in this chest here, we've got the 50 of each of them. Um, and then this one here, it needed a load. So what I'm actually thinking is, oh, these chests are filling up. I don't have those on limits. So, like, oh, that one's completely full. That one's done. That one's full as well. And that one's not full. That's not even close to full. So, yeah, we can leave it like that. I think the one chest of each. Um, but let's launch. Let's launch another one. We, we can just go. Launch. There we go. Countdown. That'll launch off. And then once it does, it means we've got some more of these down through here the um what are they the uh the space science packs that's what we got get rid of that there we go there's our, lo our rocket gone and that's two launches that we've now got which is absolutely awesome sent items to satellites and you've got to remember that you've got to put the satellite in if you don't put the satellite in bad things will happen to you um and we got those are rapidly emptying out and then once this one is done, that one's got the satellite is made, it's ready to go. And once that is all done, it will... There we go, we've got everything in there that we need as well. That is fantastic. And you look at the speed that this one fills up. Uh, yeah, it will auto load another one. So we've got 2,000 of these in here now, which is excellent. I do need to set some more research going. We've got the inserter stack capacity bonus is absolutely maxed out. I'm going to start needing some weapons soon. We are going to need weapons, so I kind of want to max out a few things on the weapons. Um, and there's a few other bits and pieces that I want to um, take up to the maximum levels that we can go for. Uh, this is kind of going to be the slow ones, because you've got some of the rocket shooting speed there. That's got a limit on it. Some of them have got limits, and some of them don't. Some of them um, are the unlimited things. So you can just keep adding, like that one there, mining productivity, that is unlimited. And then you've got the laser turret shooting speed. That is limited. Rocket damage. Um, that's an unlimited one. If it's got that little symbol down there, it becomes unlimited. You can just keep going and going and going with them. So we've got bullets there. I think we want the laser turrets. We want to start working on these for a little while. Uh, because we are going to need to start um, killing off bugs and biters very soon. We're starting to get close to their territories. We're going to be wanting to expand out into their territories completely before very long. So the next thing that I want to do really, I think, is load some of these up. I've got the stations here. These are all done. These are all doing really, really well. Um, how are we doing here? So I've got half of it is slowly clearing out, actually, quite quick. Well, I say it's slowly. It's, it's clearing out fairly rapidly. I think I might want to try and split some of this into these front chests make it work a little better don't know i'm also thinking that maybe i should have two trains running if i had another train running in there and it could go around and it could take all of this lot 
Uh, although it does seem to be mo at the moment it's moving fast enough but i think if i'm going to get this stone i'm going to put this is what the one of the next things i'm going to do is i'm going to start stripping out the stone i got there a little bit down there as well so this is all going to be the belt system so we're going to remove that one there which means that we do have a little hole in the middle we will we can worry about that later but we want to get our mining fast which is that one there system here that we spent ages setting up making sure it was all in the right place so I just need to make sure that most of that covers over. And I press shift when I put it down so it will remove anything that's in the way. Or it won't remove it. It'll just um, plonk it down on top of it. So we just put all of that out. I'll let it run and put everything down there. And then once that is all out, I can then just look here and change anything that needs to be changed. We've got a few bits there. I've got... There's a few... Um, telegraph poles that are already in the way that was the problem right that one's done already that was that was really quick so we get another one i'm just going to work my way through the laser turret shooting speed until that one's maxed out and then we'll go to the next one so i can remove that and i want to put a uh, fast belt it's got to go in there like that and same here i got to put one in there uh i got another one there i think got to go in and one there oh that's not a i need one of these underground belts for that one where is my underground belts i don't have any blue underground belts i'm requesting 50 oh dear mad panic where are my underground belts i should have underground belts i've got 50 of them request oh it's because i've um taken them all up look at this they're all they're all being used don't worry about it panic not frithgar if I take these off of here like this, they're actually just going to go and move them elsewhere for a minute. I could, do, I, I want to use some of these. I want one to go in there. I need one. Grab that one and that one. I'm bringing... Yeah, I've got a whole load of stuff coming up to me now. So let me just lift those. I've just picked up a load of logistics robots with orders for me. So I'll just put those back down again. And... Oops. Take those as well. And that side... And then, and that one there. Right, so that's that's pretty good. I do need to get rid of this little setup here. I can actually go all the way up through and I can remove that entire line. I don't need any of that. I can, um, oh no, power is already down from below. I, I don't need to worry about power. But yeah, it's, the, it's that one there. And there is my underground belts. Right. You need to go in there like that. That's perfect. So then if we move along, we just make sure everything else is lined up beautifully for it. No other issues. Right, so we've got that one all in place. Um, yeah, there's some underground belts there. I'm not really that concerned about the fact that we've got them. that one there. I don't like that that one is there. Does that mean that we've got an issue in the middle here somewhere with one of these not working? Because that's it does come from the middle of our belts here, doesn't it? Um, it does. There. Look at that. Right there. There is an error. We've got an error on our map. This is no good. That one needs to be removed. And it needs to go there like that. How have I, how have I done this wrong? Oh, yeah. There's, there's a belt there. That one needs to go there like that. And then this one here needs to go on there. And you know what that means? That means that my blueprint is wrong, which means I need to delete the current blueprint that I've got, and then I need to lay it down again. That's a bit of a nuisance. That's not actually very difficult to do, and it's nicely laid out here, so we should be able to do that fairly simply. So if I just go... So we've got mining fast there. If I go shift and right-click, that'll delete the one that we've got, and then I can go boom. Nope, I want to go up a little bit, actually. Go up there to that one. So it shouldn't take any of the top belts. And then if I move that down like that and I can take all of that in. And then what I do is if you right click some of these items, it actually gets rid of them. I can just right click like that and just press and hold the right click button. And it does actually remove all of the stuff that you don't need in your setup. Well, it would do if it wasn't going to do things like that. No! I can't believe it. I nearly had everything in place. So I'll just try that again. 
Come all the way down there and make sure that I've got everything on there that I need to use. And then you just start right clicking. I'm just pressing and holding the right click button. And I'm just mousing over everything that I don't actually need on this blueprint. It's nice and simple. And I don't need that one down there either. The rest of it is the right stuff, isn't it? Yes. Let's just double check. Make sure everything else is right. Yes. Uh, so then we go here and we go mining fast. Enter. And tick. Right. That's now done. So we've now corrected that tiny, tiny little error in there that could have caused us a bit of a bother. Because what it would have done is it would have left that one little patch until much, much later on. And then we'd have realized that it was missing. And we wouldn't have been able to um, effectively clear the whole area. We would have had to wait for another thing to completely mine out before we could do anything else. So I'm just going to extend these up first. And then we're going to join them in to the station that we've already got. The, just the existing one. And the reason that I want to do that is because I want everything to go onto these trains here. Which means we've got six lines coming up and yeah, it was roughly about the same. So I want to put three of them underneath and they want to go over there. So in order to do that, I think... How shall I do this? This is going to require a little bit of careful sort of balancing. It's For me, it, is, it does tend to be a lot of guesswork. Um, so we kind of want to put three of them into two now three into two i think the best way to do that is actually put two of these side by side like that and then put uh i really don't know put one like that i guess and then have this one here if i remove that one there and there and then i go up here and i remove those as well and i remove a few of those I'll do the same over here, remove a few of those, and a few out that side. Bring that back a little bit. Right. Then we take the belt, and I'll rotate that one over. I'll bring it up like this. There we go. And I'll do the same there. I'll put that in that way. Except that if I've got one going in there, I, I kind of want to spread this out a bit, I think. If I do that... Get rid of those three a minute. I actually want to bring them back a bit. There. Oop. Like that. So I put those two there. They're sort of joining in together. But then if I put that one, it's spreading one belt between two. This has got two belts into two. So I kind of really, I want to put one of these on each. So I want to move that one over. I want to move that one out a little bit. That one wants to go there rather than here. Wants to go like that. And then this one wants to do that. So then I can take that one and I can put it onto there. And I can put that one onto there. So all three of them are going in the same direction. So then I can put one there and I can put one there. And then I can put those two there. That is as even as it can get, I think. I don't think you're going to get it any more even than that. So then I come out of there with... Two belts, like this, and I put some underground belts, I go like that, as, as good as I can get for underground belts, I think. I'm going to have to take them back that way and feed into that side, I think. If I go like that, have to, let's go up a little bit closer so that we can sort of see what we're doing. I want to remove that one and I'm going to put that in there like that, and... Then I want to bring a belt in that way. I'm going to have to remove that. Put that one in there. I will put that down there like that so that it does at least feed into it. And I think we get we're, we're kind of making a bit of progress, but I want to do so I need to do something with that one as well. That one's got to go somewhere. I'm feeding everything into there. I need to do the same onto that belt, which I think I need to do by bringing it out this way, uh, like that, over there. Everything's going into the two, so that's just fine like it is. So then I can take that one, and I can plonk that one out that way. And I think, yes, we are, we are actually making progress, because I can then put another splitter into there, and... It'll be the right way around. I put that one in there like that. So that goes into there. And then 
this one comes in down 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 and it goes around and it goes like that that should feed everything into both sides the whole lot will go into both sides and so it should be sort of feeding in from all belts coming in except i've only done half of the the line i need to do the other half now which is on this side and this one's actually taking more it takes longer to um fill up so i'm just wondering if i should maybe feed some of this into that side i don't think i need to i think it's going to be all right i think we'll be just fine so we'll do much the same as we did and i'll put one there i'll put one there and i put one there and then we put those and we put one on the top so that's three going into two and so i can bring that one over this way like that and i want to put it into the same side of the belt as well and that should balance it as well as i think it can possibly be balanced uh there we go right those are balanced and then i can bring one of these up here like this no 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 we don't want to do it like that i want to do it like that and that comes down there and then i take a splitter and i put that one in there like that so then it will split between the two i get another splitter and i actually drop that one in there like that i need to put the belt back there that belt there goes there like that and this one will come off of this side we'll bring it over that way and it'll come out there like that and then we can get the underground belt and we can put that one into there the underground belt will come up there like that and then finally we can loop nope i don't want to do that i want to rotate it around and bring it back that way and that will balance out right so now everything is feeding in from everything all of it is all going into this one station so what i actually need to do now is i want to get another train that will go down here and will basically can go from this station to the other one it's going to run the same line as the station that is currently going um or the train that is currently going i just need to right that's the copper one i'm going to wait here until it comes back i think or i'm going to wait here i'm going to um actually i'm going to start making the next locomotive so i want to make one of those and i want to wait one two three four of those and i don't actually know if there's a way to copy the settings of one train and put them onto another but i can drop that one down there and then I can get some carriages and I can go one, two, three, and four. There, that should be a lot faster. So I've got those there. So interesting thing now, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to leave it until the train comes back. Now that one is obviously his route finding. He's going to go around. He's going to avoid this station completely. The next train should come in. That one's going to go around as well. But I am hoping that in a minute we'll have our train is going to come back here and it's going to come and stop right behind us. There it is. It comes into the station. Is it enough? Is it far enough back or am I going to have to move this track? That is on red. That's green there, but that's on red. Uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This isn't good. I'm, I'm pretty sure that they should be able to run between the two. Except I think what I, I think what we're going to need to do is we're actually just going to have to move that little bit of track back just a tiny bit. It's not going to have to go very far, but it is going to have to move back a tiny bit. So all we're waiting for is one of those other trains to be finished and to come flying up here along our track. There it is. We've got one. He's on his way. He'll be coming past us in a minute. And he's going to be going along the top there. There he is. That one will go through. And if we watch the map a minute, we'll see that one. He will go on round, and then we can see in a second if he's going to come up to here and stop, or if he's going to carry on and go further. While he does that, I can actually just find the settings of this train here. This is on a Onotoshi onto Oran Tolfa. I'm going to do the same onto this one. Can I copy settings on a train? That's what I want to know. Um, go to the station, remove the station, and or remove add weight condition. Um... If I go shift right click and then I go shift left click what's that do it's got that one it's done it excellent I didn't even know you could do that okay I'm really pleased with that I'm really pleased with myself I've accomplished something that I didn't think I could. And no, we don't have enough room here. This is a little bit of a nuisance. It's not actually a major 
problem. What we can do is we can simply go onto there and I go shift and click onto there and I just simply move it out a little bit just like that. So all we've got to do is um, if I go back to about there I think and put one in there like that. Right. Then I can put a, I'm just going to copy those settings there. I'm actually going to get a uh, signal, rail signal, and we're going to drop that one in here. That's the right way. It's got to go there. And then I want to drop a rail signal here to go in front of there. Perfect. Right. So if I do that, then I can come over here and I can go into this train here. Now, this one is on manual at the moment. Uh, I do need to drop a little bit of fuel into it. I've got a little bit of coal in here, so I'm just going to drop all of my coal into that one. And I'm going to... Nope, I want to go uh, automatic. That one's going to go. Then this next train, as soon as that one's gone out of the station, this next one will move in and that one will start loading up as well. And then that train there is going to go on out and these are opened. He's come in there and he's gone on through. So what I'm actually going to do now is if I remove that, he will go up there and he will go on across. I've got quite a gap between the two of them. So I think in order to keep it running more smoothly, I should stick another rail signal right here. Just like that. I don't think we need to have anything else, but we do need to have that rail signal in there. And then I can come over and I can remove a couple of bits of railway down here. And that one. And that's all out. Uh, I've got one there. I, that's the one there that I want to remove. That one. That's a longer one there. And that shouldn't have anything blocked up then. I've got both trains. They should be coming back in. I've got one coming in there. That one's gone through. So this one now is green lit. And i got a, a train's gone into there. Right, everything, everything is running smoothly. I've got two trains running through there, and I've got a massive, amount of, a massive amount of stone sort of going in. We've got a little bit of iron ore here. Now, I want to do something with that. I want to get rid of it. I need to remove it from the station. That's another item that's got to be done. Uh, that one's coming back up. That's probably going straight into this station here. So, I mean, I didn't need that, but just in case I did, just in case we had a longer stop than normal here at any point, um, I felt it was probably the best thing to do. Uh, now, we've got that patch there that I want to remove, and i got this patch here that I want to remove. Those two patches, I think I can add it. I've also got that coal. That needs to go as well. And i got this station here. This one's working quite effectively. I'm just wondering if I should add this bit over to this one. Because that seems to be going a lot slower now. So I could actually add it in there without causing me any problems. Where am I? Oh, I'm in here. I thought for a minute I was standing in the middle of the track, but no, I wasn't that daft. Um, that one's going on through there. Right, all our trains are running beautifully. This is absolutely excellent. So if I take my mining fast blueprint and I put this one in here, and all I want is, I actually just need this smaller area. I'm going to drop that right into the middle like that. And it's going to put down far more than we actually need it to. But that's okay. We, we can cope with that. I'm going to run up over here as well, and I'm going to do another one on this side. And I will then remove a whole load of the stuff that we don't actually need. Uh, to press shift onto there and put that one down. So that's going to come through. And what you can do is you can just right click over a lot of this stuff that you don't need. And it will already start cancelling out the, the bits that you don't want to put in. So I can like do that as well. Come down through there. So I'm already cancelling a load of these bits that I don't want placed down. Um, I mean, yes, there are a whole load of them that have already been placed down, but then we just go and get the blueprint and we can rip them all up again. So it's not going to cause us any major difficulties. I just want to get rid of those, and well, I want to get rid of that whole lot there. We've got another one that's ready to go. A bit more research. Take you up, and take that lot up there. I know I've got a load of trees that are just being lifted. And that one... And then, yes, I've got these up here. I'm actually going to get rid of the underground belts there because I don't think that there is a need to keep them and we'll be glad of using them later. So, no, there's another one there. Oh, great. That's two of them that I've got in there. And that's my blue... I, I went and corrected my blueprint as well. 
So that's another section that is actually wrong. We'll leave that one go for a minute. I need to come back over this way and I need to go and I need to look through the blueprint and find where that wrong patch is. So that one is, there it is. There's the other patch there. I need to correct that bit. So uh, this one here is in the wrong spot and that one needs to go there. Oops, there like that. And then I can put that one into, you know it would help if I put it the right way around, like that. Uh, right, are there any more that we got wrong while we're looking at this? Because I need to redo that blueprint again, which is a little bit of a nuisance. But, I mean, you do sometimes have to do this. You get a slight error on the blueprint. And the one thing that I don't like about blueprints is if you look here, if I go into that blueprint, and I just um, put it down a minute, um, you right mouse click to open. Now, I can remove items, but I can add items into it. You can edit it. You can right click to remove Oh, left click to restore. But is this one here. I want to remove that one. And I want to remove that one. And then I can click. But I can't drag. I can't, like, take that one. And if I do that, it just puts it back. I can remove all of them. And I can put them all back. But I can't remove whole items. And that is the bit that I really don't like. I, I can't sort of edit this one here. The only way that you can edit it is to actually lay it out on the ground and do it from there. So I've got this new layout, which means that what I need to do is I need to once again delete that blueprint and then I need to do it again. So I have to go up there, make sure I've got everything in. And once I'm absolutely certain I've got everything in, I bring it up there and then I can start right clicking and removing the excess elements that I don't want here. I mean, if there was like a blueprint designer that you could do without having to lay them down first, that would be very, very cool. I did hear a rumor that such a thing might be implemented later on. Um, however, I've no idea if this is just a rumor or if there's anything, any like factual basis to it or what. I've no idea at the moment. So let me just remove that bit there. I've done that. I don't want that one down there either. And I don't want those belts down there. Uh, I will keep that one in and I'll keep those at the bottom. I think I want to keep everything else in place for now, including those, just in case we want um, a bigger patch. So we'll say that is fast mining. There we go. We'll keep that one and we'll accept. So we create the blueprint. So we're done now for that one. And we've now got a couple of little patches that we need to deal with. I want where we got to put these. And I'm thinking that what we'll do is if I take a blueprint first and I remove that side there, that one can all go, and then I'll take a blueprint and I'm going to remove everything north of there, which is also going to put a load of ores into my bag, which is a little bit of a nuisance. Um, however, if I come over this side, it, it, well, well, it does stick them all into trash, so I'll get a whole load of robots come up in a minute and it will remove them for me. So I don't actually need to worry about it too much. Uh, I can take that down there that can all go there we go couple more items up there I've actually got some robots coming in from the outside to take those and okay now we're a lot more tidy so we've we've got just that little area in the middle this is probably the fastest way to lay them down um, I'm gonna have a whole load of logistics robots come along in just a moment we've got 500 construction robots currently in storage. We've got 1,500 elsewhere doing things. And they're just running around building a few things. They're all going to be going back into storage now. So we've moved all of our chests. We've got 4,000 of our normal logistics robots in storage at the moment. Uh, now stone. I don't actually want to be carrying stone with me. So I'm going to auto trash any stone that I get. So if I do that, it will auto trash any stone. Which is excellent. That's what you the auto trash is such a brilliant option. It really is. It's absolutely awesome. It allows you to get rid of anything that you don't want to be carrying on your person. And it does so really, really quickly and effectively. So I just got 12 more. Another four. There's one more robot on his way to grab him. Somewhere. There he is. Is that him? Nope. Where's the robot? Oh, there he is. Took your time, didn't you? There he is. He's right, he's taking those away. So we've got a little bit up here that is not doing anything. I actually want to remove that line there like that. I'll take those. They will auto trash a couple of bits for me as well. And I need to just join in power onto these. There. 
So I'm going to put all of this into just two lines because there's not very much here. That'll all go into two lines. So in order to effectively and evenly put it into two lines, I'm going to put five of these out because we've got five lines. We're one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And I will feed these belts into those five. Put one in there. And then you can go into that one. And then if I come over this way, uh, actually, I need to go up one, don't I? And then I can bring it over and bring it all the way around to there and drop that one in there like that. I think I've not given myself enough space. Actually, no, I have. I've got just enough space to be able to do this. Bring him over like that and drop that one up into that side. And then I want to do this one here and put him up into there. Right, so there's five of them. So then you can just stack them down. You, you literally, you just do go across one point on each one. And it will slowly stack them through. And then you have two lines that run dead even. So I'm going to bring that one over there. And it's going to come down that way. Now, I know that this is a beltless factory. I am aware that this is a beltless factory. Don't worry. However... Even with a beltless factory, you do need belts. And the, re the reason that we're using belts here is because we don't want this being taken up by our logistics robots. This is all being done with um, other things. I'll bring that one up that way. And I'll take it across. And we'll go that way as far as we can. And that's going to go into this station here. I'm going to put a double line into there. And I'm going to put another double line into there. So I'll bring that one up that way. I need to go and make another one. So we've got all of those coming through. Of course, the, the real question is, do I need to have another one? I don't. That is running maximum on just one belt. So I don't need any more than just one belt on there. That's all I need for this to make it work. Um... So, yes, we are running belts out here, but the reason that we're running belts out here is because we don't want the logistics robots being tangled up with picking up resources. This goes to the trains, and then eventually it'll all be removed, so it's not going to interfere with our main base in any way, shape, or form. And I'm going to just bring that one... Uh, you know what? I'm going to put it over there. If I drop one of those there... I'm going to need four of these, aren't I? Should have enough room. Because I got four belts there. So one, two, three, four. It's too many. One, two, and three. Still too many. There we go. And then I can do that. And then I can do one out the top. And then I can take one belt off of it. So we're going to do exactly the same over here. I'm going to bring that one up a little bit. And go up to there. We can run that one over. Like that. Down and into that top belt there and then this belt here that one's going to run straight across this one i'm going to remove a couple of lines like that this one here is going to go straight over there and then that one is going to come through there so i can bring that one over and then i can bring it round down and skip that one and we go in there like that and then this one will come over and it'll do this like this and we skip one and we come in there like that and then finally, this one will come over. It all looks neat and tidy. It's not going to stay a very long mine, but it does look neat and tidy Once we, now that we've got it running. And we can bring that one down. And we can drop it in there. So that bit there is done. And then I can do the same out here. I only need one belt. I don't need two belts because there is just not enough ore being mined to make two belts needed. So if I run over to this side of the track a minute. There we go. You've got to be careful. You do not want to get caught by one of those trains. Those trains are killers. They will kill you. There's no two ways about it. There's, there's no, oh, it, you know, I might survive being hit by a train. No, you won't. You absolutely will not survive being hit by a train. Trust me on this. I think I've actually done. I think I did demonstrate it on one of the videos, didn't I? Uh, so let's just bring that in over there. And then I want to get across the track very, very quickly. And I've actually run out. So I need to get back within range of all of my robots so that I can get some more um, tracks, if there is tracks. Now, uh, what I would also like to do, we have almost run out of time for today's episode, so I'm just going to take this concrete here, 
and I'm going to fill in some of this gap. I'm going to put some down there. I'm going to put some up there. Uh, because, you know, we got all of this space and I got nowhere to run, basically. So I'm going to do that. And come up here. And do that. And there. And up there as well. So I'm filling in this little gap on the base. Now, if I look there, I don't have any of my construction robots in storage. But this is happening a lot faster than it used to. It used to take a lot longer than this in order for the robots to do it. And now it seems to work. We still got these long streams of robots running between chests. However, they don't have, because they don't have so far to run, it should be a lot quicker for them to eventually decide where it is that they've got to go. Um, and that cloud of robots there, that just looks sensational. That is absolutely brilliant. I love that. Uh, I got my own robots busy running through they're just taking out the last of the concrete i don't have any concrete on me so they're just going to grab that and then they'll be done and then i should get 50 robots come back into my bags once they're done i got a few of them elsewhere charging up but seriously that is it's like poetry in motion i love watching the swarm at work i really do the swarm at work is just awesome i genuinely do love it i've got a whole load of blue belts back excellent that means we can go racing back over here and just make sure there's no trains come in. Scroll in a little bit like this. And yes, it does get a little bit laggy at times. But that is just the sheer number of things we've got going on. Um, and as far as I know, that's not like the biggest issue that people have with the game. It's not lag. It's... Um, I can't remember what it is. It's, um, up, uh, it's UPS. It's not FPS. FPS is not the issue. It's UPS. When you've got a mega base really going, um, your updates per second starts to slow down. And the updates per second is the bit that actually decides how it all works. Now, we've got red belts in here. This is all red stuff. Uh, so I'm actually thinking that I will put that one in, in there like that. And I'm going to put this blue belt in like that, there. And that's going to come down through and upgrade this. So I'm going to just go through and I'm going to replace all red with blue. Like that. There we go. And I'll replace this this side. can be replaced with blues. Come down there and all the way through there like that. And then all we need to do finally is replace that one with a blue. So we've got an upgraded one on there. I'm also going to do it up here so that I've got a better infeed of both of them we'll do one blue there and one blue there and then we've got two blues to go in between the two and then i'll also do a little bit of infeed there that should help to keep everything running smoothly on that side and then i can do the same here run down through there and then those two put a couple of them in there like that one there and rotate those round and then I can do that. And we're done. Right. So that's those bits. And then I just need one of those in there. And then finally I want one of those in there like that. Nope. It's got to come back one. It's got to go there like that. That's where it's got to go. Because then I've got to bring this one. It needs to go in there like that. And that one wants to go up. And then I can bring a underground belt, which will go over there like that. And it doesn't actually quite reach all the way across. Except I got it the wrong way around. Oh, it does. It reaches all the way across easily without any problem. It doesn't even break a sweat. Our laser turret speed is speeding up. And we've got that one at once and that's 250. So we want this one here. We can get that one going. And then I can put a belt like this. And join that one in there. And there we've got it. We've got everything flowing into all of the trains exactly as it should. So I've got these here are both flowing into the north and south lines. Um, I've got a few extra copper coming on that side than I have down here. So we may have to do like a rebalancing later on. But I mean at the moment I've got enough iron ore coming in that it's going to keep it all running quite smoothly. Uh... Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll sort of change how these belts are doing. But at the moment, they seem to be right. I mean, the train is gone. The train has been filled up. These chests are all completely full. These are actually quite low. 
There really isn't very much in any of these chests. So we just have to hope that they do feed through all right. And that one is feeding through really nicely as well. It is coming through really rapidly. And it's, it's stuffing the belts full. It is keeping the belts completely crammed full, which is excellent. That's what we want. That's all feeding through there. These are all coming up into here. We've got two stations working hard. Um, it's about as balanced as we can get. And we're also now removing every single bit of ore on the map. Oop, let me go to here. So we've got all of that being removed there. These great big patches up here are being removed. I've got those on trains. That's all being loaded onto a train as well. This down here is being done by robots. I think I've got an area there that has now been cleared out. I've got a tiny bit of uranium there that needs to be moved. The uranium ore there is being pushed out. I need that coal to be gone. That coal and that iron there. We've got to remove that. Um, sort of do that hard and fast. And this is the bit left here. We've got that coal there. I want to remove that. And then once I've removed all of that, that is every single bit of ore that is inside our base. I've got a little bit of a messy area down here that we're going to have to work on. Um, and we've also got some areas over here. Long-term storage does need to be bigger. But I'm, I'm happy with our progress today. We've, we've expanded out on our stations. I've added another train into the mix. And I've got everything running really smoothly. Now, if I run down through here... I'm looking and I'm not seeing lines of robots going anywhere. So I am I think we can safely assume that all chests are in that area there or they're down in this area down here. So what we can do is we can, just before we go, we can make one more chest. There is one more that I want to put down. And I'm actually going to put a robot, a robo port up here. Just there like that. So that'll help to cover the whole area so we've we got robot coverage on everything there um in order to get this one to fit i'm going to need to remove this robo port that one's going to have to go so we can remove that one and i'm also going to remove a couple of these so they're out of the way and we've got a nice little area i think i'm also going to need to remove some of these power lines so if i go into my deconstruction planner and I take that one out there. That will deconstruct that line. That's not going to be in the way of anything whatsoever. So then we can take our absolutely gorgeous... And I swear this thing looks like a... Um, if I put it there so that it's exactly even, it doesn't quite fit with the railways. That is a crying shame that it doesn't quite fit. That railway is in just the wrong spot to have it evenly spaced. That is actually genuinely heartbreaking for me. I want it here because this is the best place for it to go. Uh, I'm going to move that. I'm going to move the railway line in a minute. So then it will actually we'll, we'll do that now. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to move this railway line. Um, what we'll do is we just take this one and we can go just on there like that. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go on there, and I want to press Shift onto there. And I want to put it up. It's literally just got to go up there like that. That's where it's got to go in order to make this work. And then it can go, it'll go up higher, and it'll go into here. I want to, I want to get it to work into there. There we go. Up into there like that. Remove all the rest of it. Run across the track in a very, very dangerous fashion. And let the other robots come up. So I've got one... Um, signal there so I'm going to replicate that I'm going to stick a signal in up here that one there is actually that's got enough room to come out of the end of the train and then I've got some more signals elsewhere so if I put one signal there I think that is the optimal space for it got four of them that come up yes so I'm going to put a signal right there like that and then this one can go and this train track can go and then we can remove that track, and that track, and that one, and that one as well. There we go. Nope, too many. It's got to go there like that. Right, that should be joined together. Hopefully they'll go through. Yes, that is all joined together. And then that one will go through. Excellent. So, they're all running. That's all doing really well. If I could just take this bit here, I can remove... That little line of tracks there, I can remove those couple of tracks there as well. 
and a few of them here. And then I can just manually remove the last couple. I want that one out. And there's one more that i got to remove. There. Nope, there's actually another one. That one there. Yes. Okay, now that's all removed. I've now got space that I can build this one. I can go here into my old processor. This really does look like an old processor. It's absolutely brilliant. I love this look that it's got. And there, now everything is going to match up perfectly exactly as I want it to. Right there on there. Look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. We got two of them side by side and I've got enough room that I can put an I'm going to put another one down there and another one there. I will have to remove some of that. That's fine. I don't care. We can do that later. Right now though, we got all those chests coming out. Those are all in long-term storage. I had those stashed down there from when I built the previous one when I was just kind of laying it all out to make sure it worked properly. That is just gorgeous. That is fantastic. Look at all those robots. That's beautiful. That is absolutely awesome. I'm really pleased with that. Okay, if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And next time, you know, I'm not actually sure what we're going to do next time. I think we're going to try and get that coal shifted, or at least we're going to start working on the coal up there. And other than that, I'm not really sure. We might start laying in some water production so that we're ready for a huge nuclear upgrade. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Rithgar. Goodbye and see you later.